high drama in the French Alps. Dozens of riders stranded in cable cars overnight, suspended at an altitude of 12,000 feet. ABC's Terry Moran is in London with the latest on the rescue. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. A harrowing night for dozens of people. Yesterday, they were tourists riding a cable car over spectacular mountain scenery, and then things went terribly wrong. This morning, daring rescue after rescue, a risky high altitude drama playing out overnight. Dozens of tourists here to see the spectacular mountain scenery, instead forced to spend the freezing night trapped in midair in these cable cars dangling over the French Alps. A tourist from South Africa posted this video of the panoramic view moments before the tangled mess crossed cables shutting the whole thing down. Initially, there were 110 people left stranded at 12,500 feet in the air. While daylight lasted, helicopters rushed to reach and rescue 77 people. Rescuers harnessing themselves to cables and then climbing along the cars and dropping down into the chairlifts. But night fell, a cold fog rolled in, operations were suspended, too dangerous for the rescue. And 33 people spent the night hanging two miles from the ground. They won't use a helicopter and won't fly at night. No, they wouldn't fly during the fog either. An American tourist was among those rescued. We were there almost 10 hours in the cable car, which was really quite an experience. Five rescue workers spent the night with those still trapped, bringing blankets and warm food. A close call for sure. The operating company of that cable car says they can't figure out why those cables got crossed, and so they've closed that line for now.